Hello there kids, today we are going to review about reading time. Okay, so why did I say review? Because I'm quite sure that some of you already know how, since you're already thought of this uh, for the past few uh, months, no? Yung certain topics nyo from last school year, okay? So we are going to talk about time, reading time. So, knowing about time. This, uh, some numbers will be a little confusing, pero basta ang importante lang for now is for you to learn how to read time. Okay? So, sa clock kasi, we basically have three hands. But we are only going to talk about two, which is the hour hand. And the minute hand. Okay. The hour hand, represent natin by certain color. The hour hand is usually shorter than the minute hand. While the minute hand is usually, of course, longer compared to the hour hand. Okay, how do you read the hour hand and the minute hand? Okay, magka-color ako ha. I'm going, I mean, I'm going to make use of uh, color coding. For our hour hand, the number that you see is how you say the hour, such as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and of course, 12. So, kung if, for example, for 12, no, 12's area is from this point up to this point, territory. So, which means even if your hour hand is pointing at this area, it is still 12. Because if you notice, it's still under that territory. But once it reaches this area, if you notice, it's already pointing at 1. And the area of 1 is from this point all the way until before the number 2. Which means if your hour hand is at this point, it's still 1. Okay? 1 pa rin yan. So, that's basically the logic of reading uh, the hour hand. Ngayon, pagdating naman sa minute. Hindi ko muna ilalagay yung minute, ha? Erase ko lang muna tong part na to. This one and that one. Okay. Again, for our minute hand, I'm going to make use of green. Iwan ko lang yan yung knee and circle ko na 12, no? For a minute hand, you should know first pala that for every 1 hour, that's equivalent to 60 minutes. So, this tiny mga numbers dito, uh, I mean, itong mga marks na to, this one, they are equivalent to 1 minute. Okay, yung ito. That's that represents 1 minute. Okay, that's the basic of that. So, if you're going to count all those tiny marks, you will have a total of 60. Starting at this point, yung sa number 12. Starting here all the way around until you reach at this point. That's equivalent to, um, technically, ah, 59 lang dyan. Pero kung dito kayo mag-start nga, syempre, you don't start at 0. You don't start counting at 0. So, if mag-start tayo dyan, okay, klaroin ko lang. Siyempre, starting count is here. Kasi this is zero. So, start kayo dyan from this point all the way around until you reach the zero mark. That's a total of 60. So, which represents the total number of uh, minutes per hour. Okay? So, yung shortcut nyan, of course, when it reaches 12, technically, zero lang yan siya. Okay? Kung yung hour hand din nyo, 
points at 12 your, uh, your i mean your minute hand points at 12 so that's zero lang yan zero minutes yan okay but if it's if it points at 1 so counting we have 1 2 3 4 5 so that's equivalent to 5 minutes and there are certain values yan all you need to do is to memorize so i'm going to give you the data for you to be familiar with kung ano yung certain value nila. So, for example, five is uh, 1 is represented by 5 minutes. So, uh, re remember how we are talking about minute hand because I'm using green. Okay? So, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55 and uh, sorry and the moment you reach uh, 12 it's basically 60 but it already covers the hour okay so which means you cannot say that it is 760 there's no such thing as 760 because the moment if you're going to continue no for example 758 then it's already 759 the next hour the next minute will now fall under kasi nga it's equivalent to 1 hour, di ba? 1 hour will now go to the, of course, the hour uh, area. So, ang ibig sabihin dito that this will reset to 0, 0. And this hour that we have earlier will now be converted to hours na. So, uh, instead of 7, it will now become 8. Okay? So, 7.58, 7.59, 8 o'clock. So, it's basically raining. I don't know if naririnig ba sa aking microphone. So, anyway. So, it's like going back lang din, no? So, if we have 9 o'clock, no? 9 o'clock. If we move backwards, if you move that, if you move the time backwards, since this is 8, if since you move, you'll be moving backwards, it will now become, uh, since this is 9 rather, sorry. Since this is 9, moving backwards will give us 8. But, of course, the minute hand will become 59. Okay, that is basically how you do this uh, basic reading, no? So, ito yung mga, again ha, yung sa, sa hour natin, they are read as the numbers given, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. By the minute naman natin, each number rep is being represented by, parang skip, by 5 tayo. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Again, when you reach 60, you do not uh, count it by, like for example, 760. Because 760 is basically just the same as 8 o'clock. Okay? So, paano, paano tayo mag-answer nyan for your page 171? Let's try to do that. Okay, try natin i-answer to. If you notice that our hour hand is being pointed at this point. And this area belongs to 1 at until the area before reaching 2. Okay? Which means if your arrow will be pointing here, 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 your hour hand, ha? which means it is still under 1. So it is now safe to say that our hour here is 1. You just need to look for our minute value. So if you notice that our minute is pointing at 4 and if you're going to skip count that value we start with 0 then we have 5 10 15 20 so which means this time is equivalent to 1 20 okay so 20 this can also be written as 20 Minutes past one. Okay. Twenty minutes past one. So depending on because there are situations that you're going to make use past. There are also certain units that your um numbers that you're going to make use of the term two. Okay. Kailan yung gagamitin yung two at saka ang past. Okay. So tuturuan ko lang kayo in a while. Let's say uh, I'm going to give you an, another number. Let's say I'm just going to change the minute hand lang. 
Okay, I'll just change the minute hand para mas claro. Comparing both numbers. Let's say the minute hand is now pointing at 9. Okay. So, obviously we did not change our hour hand. Pero at this point, no. Just to be exact. Just to be precise. The 2 should be pointing at some... Uh, the, the, two, the hour hand, rather. Sorry. The hour hand should be pointing... At this point na. Somewhere there. Kasi syempre gumagalaw yan eh. So, we have our minute hand here. So, skip count lang natin. We have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and we have 45. Which means our new time now is read as 1, 45. But you might tell me, Teacher Mark, can we also say that it, it can can it also be written as 45 minutes past 1? Technically, yes. Okay? Pwede nyong sabihin that, uh, pwede nyo talaga masabi yung 45 minutes past 1. But the other way of writing this is... Counting the remaining minutes until it reaches the next hour. At this point, counting it until it reaches this point. So we basically have 5, 10, oops, sorry, remaining minutes nga. So we should not include the starting. So we have 5, 10, and 15. So that's 15. Other, other way of writing neto ha. The same lang yan. Other way of writing that is 15 minutes to the next R. What is the next R? Since our current R is 1, what is our next R? The next R is 15 minutes to 2. Okay? I-count nyo lang yung remaining Rs na kailangan, I mean minutes ninyo, before reaching the next R. Okay? I'll explain this further um, in a while. Like ito nga, Paano nyo nalalaman? When do we use past and when do you use to? Okay. Uh, I'll just erase everything. Okay, past and to tayo. So, i-represent ko ng green yung past. And I'll represent to as red. Okay. If your hour, if your minute hand is or belongs to this area, you're going to make use of the term past. Okay? But if your minute hand points at this area after the green mark, you're going to make use of 2. Okay? So, dito ang 2. Dito ang past. Okay, paano nga ba yan? Sige, let's try it one by one. So, let's say pointing at, or, uh, minute hand natin is pointing at 4, I mean, our hand is 4, and then uh, minute hand is pointing at 5. So, at this point, you can say that the hour, the time is 4, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So, that's 4, 25. Or, 25 minutes past 4. But if the minute hand is pointing here, so that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 4, 35. So if you notice, ha, the minute hand is already in the red area, which is 2. So you do not say 35 minutes past 4, but instead... You're going to count the remaining minutes until it reaches the next R. So, which is 5. Again, nandito tayo sa 7, ha? Hindi kasi klaro, eh. Wait lang. Andito kasi tayo ngayon sa 7. So, that's 0. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Until it reaches the next R. So, that's 25 minutes. 25 minutes... 
What is the next R? 25 minutes to... What is the next R? After 4, it's 5. So, 25 minutes to 5. Okay? So, ganun lang yung pag-answer uh, ninyo dyan. This is for pages 171 and 172. Okay? So, in uh, writing form, conversion natin, let's say 215, can be written as 15 minutes... Past two, three twenty is twenty minutes past three. And kung meron tayong let's say five o two, so that's two minutes. past 5 okay if you notice they belong yung yung range of minutes natin is from 1 to 30 minutes no you have observed ninyo so even if you're you have the 30 for example for 30 can be written as 30 minutes past 4 okay so, technically, ito yung ibig sabihin yan. Changing the term, hindi ako, hindi ako maglalagay ng equal sign, but instead I'm gonna make use of is. 2.15 is 15 minutes past 2. 3.20 is 20 minutes past 3. Uh, 5.02 is 2 minutes past 5. And 4.30 is 30 minutes past 4. Now, here comes yung naman ranges yung minutes natin is from basically 31 to 60 minutes or the next hour na yan. Okay? So, ito ha. Remember, past ang ginagamit natin dito. Now, let's try to make use of 2. Okay. So, let's say you have 3.50 For now, equal, uh, blank ko lang muna. Uh, 350 is ano? You don't say 50 minutes past 4. Okay, wrong yan. 50 minutes past 2. Past 3 rather. Wrong. Mali yan. Okay? This is basically wrong. Technically, it's correct. Pero yun na nga. The book need, uh, is basically asking you to write making use of 2. So, since lang lagpas na siya sa 30, no, which belongs to the 31 and 60 mark. So, ang kailangan nyo dito is the next R. Next R of 3 is 4. And yung proper term nyo dito is 2. Okay? Now, all you need to do is to count how many minutes do you need to reach 60. How many minutes do you, do you need 50 to reach fi, uh, 60? Yung minute na yan. Ilan pa yung kailangan niya until it, reach, it, uh, until it will be able to reach 60. So, in this case, obviously, it's 10. So, the time here is 10 minutes to 4. Okay? Is. 3.50 is 10 minutes to 4. Okay, ganyan lang yan. Uh, example natin. Let's say... 6.45 Meron pa iba Let's say 8.35 Or let's not give an equal amount Let's say meron tayong 10.58 Okay so, terms natin is, again, since all the minute value is already over 30, so we should take their next hour, the next hour. If this is 6, the answer should be 7. If this is 8, the answer should be 9. If this is 10, the answer should be 11. 
And all you need to do is just to count, no? How many minutes do you need for 45 to reach 60, for 35 to reach 60, for 58 to reach 60? Okay. Technically, all you need to do is 2 minus. Okay. 60 minus 45 will give us 15 minutes to 7. 60 minus 35 is basically 25 minutes to 9. And 60 minus 58 will give you 2 minutes to 11. Okay? Ganun lang kadali for, na, for page 173 ito. Okay, this is for page 173.